Adam Aceto, everybody. So he's been doing this evening for the film festival for the past 10 years. And then he's been playing, we've been doing this ride, <laughs> and he's been playing Babyface. And then it was a couple years ago, two years ago, that I realized that he was playing Babyface to me. And on the ride up, I said, are you playing baby face to me? And he goes, yeah. And then, and then last year he changed it up. And, and Roger was disappointed. I was, yeah. <clears throat> I was heavily disappointed, <laughs> but he's a maestro. <clears throat> he, nobody like him. And thank you for the you. past 10 years of My doing pleasure. this. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's my honor to say thank you to UGG, our presenting sponsor. I'm wearing a pair of magnificent UGGs. Um, they really help us make the festival possible. So thank you to UGG. Um, the Winchester Mystery House, Michelle Vebes, and um, they are the sponsor of this evening and make this completely free and make it possible. Uh, for all of us, and the Santa Barbara Theater Oregon Society, who um, make, who keep this organ happy and um, functional all throughout the year. To, so thank you to all of them, and the board of directors of the film festival. Thank you so much. Um, you guys are in for an amazing evening. I'm gonna step out and leave you in the incredible hands of Adam Aceto, which by the way, um, his wife is in the audience, and she's eight months pregnant. So. It was my pleasure. Okay. I'll, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Thank Enjoy, you, Enjoy, everybody. Thank you, everyone, for coming. My name is Adam Aceto. I'm the staff organist here at the Arlington Theater, and uh, I'm going to present for you tonight a, a silent movie in sort of the traditional manner. Um, what you may not know about the instrument that I'm, the console that I'm sitting at, this instrument was built in 1928 and installed in the Lowe's Jersey City, a big movie palace in Jersey City, New Jersey, right off the PATH train. It still exists today. <clears throat> And uh, if you're in the area, I highly recommend visiting. It came uh, to Santa Barbara after it had been, uh, the theater was in distress and it had gone to an organ club in Texas who couldn't uh, manage to restore it. And it came to Santa Barbara on the uh, condition that if it were working and installed in, in two years, we could have it for free. So basically that's what happened with the many thousands and thousands of volunteer hours and city and all sorts of other, uh, all sorts of other input this instrument was restored and is uh, back to the glory that it was um, uh, when it was originally built in 1928. <clears throat> a fun aside about it, it was actually, it's a, it's a, it's a local girl. Uh, it was built in Van Nuys, uh, California, so it's, uh, it's actually uh, kind of, it belongs in California if you ask me. Uh, <clears throat> As a matter of fact, I had been to the Lowe's Jersey City to play. They have a new instrument there, and the first thing that they asked me is, can we have our organ back? <clears throat> Uh, everything you hear on the organ is uh, is an actual uh, sound. There are no loudspeakers. There are no uh, synthesized sounds. So uh, what you hear are, are pipes, flutes, reeds, and so on. The piano is a real piano, actuated by air. The xylophone is a real xylophone. The, the snare drum is a real snare drum. And <clears throat> 
And everything that, uh, all, the, all of the things I mentioned, including the 2,000 plus pipes, are in the Spanish village that are on either side of us, as well as behind and up above the, the proscenium arch. So you're sort of sitting in the middle of the instrument, which is very unique. <clears throat> Um, uh, if afterwards you would like to come up and ask me some questions, uh, you're more than welcome to do so. Also, I think we're going to offer, if we do have time, if you'd like to see some of the pipe chambers, um, Bruce, the president of the Santa Barbara Theater Organ Society, uh, will meet you at the Grand Staircase and take you up to see the pipe chambers. So you're more than welcome to do that. I encourage that. This is a very rare, uh, <clears throat> rare, very rare theater, and we're so thankful for their constant welcome of both the organ club and the use of the organ. Um, it, uh, if you can only imagine every theater in 1925 was equipped with this and now it's probably fewer than a hundred so um, this is really a rare experience to to hear the organ in the manner that it was uh, it was designed a little bit about the film we're gonna see <clears throat> it's from 1923 uh, and the uh, a couple unique things uh, Lon Chaney who is the uh, the hunchback character I was just blown away when I had seen this <clears throat> for the first time. You know, obviously there's, there's no sound except the music that I'm going to play. Um, but there's also so little else that we're used to seeing in, in movies. There's no color, that's kind of grainy. Um, add to that, <clears throat> uh, Lon Chaney wears this heavy makeup. He wears a sort of an eyepiece and, and teeth. And yet, from basically one eye, he can communicate so much emotion to us. It's um, just unbelievable. So pay, pay special attention to that. As far as the, the music for the film is concerned, um, I come at this from a rather pure, uh, purist standpoint. My, uh, uh, my interest is in, is in music f from the period of the teens, 20s, 30s. And the score you're going to hear tonight is something that I'll improvise, but it's based on melodies um, that existed uh, when, the, when the movie came out. Uh, this movie is actually quite unique. After the film came out, they, the producers held a contest for a theme to be composed. And uh, uh, so people <clears throat> wrote uh, melodies that they thought would accompany the film and submitted it to the, to the um, production company and they awarded a prize. Uh, so I have actually brought that theme with us tonight, uh, composed by a nam man named Maurice Barron who went on to be one of the music directors at Radio City Music Hall, among other things. So. Um, I think that's the short list of things I wanted to share with you. Um, uh, it'll take me just a second to get the organ at half position, and I hope you really enjoy the film, and thank you so much for coming out tonight and joining us. Thank you.